there, I am Lara van der Hayden and I'm a cellist and I've been asked by the LMP to contribute to their LMP at Home series. Now I thought for quite a long time how I'd like to contribute and I decided that I wanted to talk about nerves and performance anxiety in particular. I understand that it might seem like a weird time to talk about performance anxiety since pretty much none of us are performing in the way that we're used to, but since it's a pretty good time to reflect and think about things, I thought maybe now would be a good time to open a discussion of sorts. Um, the first thing that I wanted to talk about is social media, because I actually think that this is perhaps more important than ever right now, since it's one of the only ways that we are managing to keep socially active. Um, the fact is, as everyone knows already, that people do tend to represent the best versions of themselves on social media. Um, I think at the moment actually we're seeing people being more honest and more vulnerable online, which is fantastic. Um, but this really, really applies to performance because I don't think many people are tweeting just before they go on stage how sick and how terrible they're feeling and how nervous they're feeling. So I think it's really important to just keep reminding yourself that there are many more performers out there who get incredibly nervous before performances than we realise or than we know because they don't broadcast it. And I certainly don't broadcast those moments for myself and maybe I should start, I don't know. Um, the other thing, of course, is that telling people how nervous you're feeling does sometimes break the spell a bit for an audience. Um, I heard recently that actors often need a paper bag to throw up into before they go on stage, but you would never guess that and you, in a way, wouldn't necessarily want to know it because once they go on stage they look incredibly confident and um, that's the illusion that you want to believe in as an audience member. Another thing I think that I've really struggled with, and I know that friends of mine have as well as musicians, is um, because you often have done it from such a young age and it takes so much time out of your life, you really link up your own identity with being a musician. And that means that all of the negative feelings that you might feel towards how you're being as a musician um, start to apply to who you are as a person. So I know so many people who have felt real shame and real guilt about not being as productive as they should be during this time or about the nerves that they feel before a concert because what we should be doing is um, being flamboyant and um, inspired. And that's another thing actually. Um, I think it's really a difficult thing to be inspired in the moment that you have a concert because you don't choose when the concert is, you don't choose what time you have to walk on stage. And to try and create that moment of inspiration is really difficult and props to anyone who manages it every time. Um, now I'd like to talk a bit about the general ways that I try to help myself when it comes to nerves and performance anxiety. And one of the things that I thought about when I was trying to break it down as an issue um, was that often when I feel most nervous is when I haven't connected emotionally enough to the piece and I'm focusing on the wrong things, I think, or the wrong things for me personally. Another disclaimer, um, of course, this is all personal to me and everyone has a different um, approach to these things. And one of the pieces that I actually felt I was doing this with was Haydn's Cello Concerto in C Major. Um, because it is such a beloved piece and played so much, I started to lose sight a little bit of my original feelings towards it and I started to focus in on um, specifics and um, things that would disappoint me if I didn't get them right in performance and I completely forgot that actually I think it's a really raw and um, rustic piece of music and once I reminded myself of that fact actually I became less nervous and I could enjoy the music more. One of the particular things that I struggle with in terms of nerves is memory slips um, and it's been 
a long journey with it and I think I'm slowly improving. One of the things that helped me hugely was visualizing my practice. So any, any time when you're in the car, when you're journeying, when you're in bed at night, just going through the piece of music in your head and um, really trying to visualize both the notes and also your hands playing it um, and also the orchestral parts or any other parts um, that you're playing with and that really helped me a lot. Um, I've also been recommended to write out the whole piece and I think I've only done it once or twice because it's quite time consuming but if you're really struggling with a particular passage that can be a really good way to try and tackle it. Um, another way that I really think have helped my own nerves is by filming and recording most of my rehearsals and concerts. Um, at first this is really daunting and really horrible and as I was saying before about the identity you just think you know you, you overanalyze everything but once you get used to hearing yourself you can start linking the feeling that you have during performance with the actual outcome and what I found is that often if in a performance you're feeling like it's really not going very well or actually it's going really well it's very good to try and see what the relationship between the outcome and the emotion is because often it's not quite as you imagine. The, the norm for me is that it's always better than I think it was if I thought it was bad and if I thought it was really good it's probably not as good as I thought it was. Um, so to start building your own system of constructive criticism, filming and recording is a really really great way to do that for me. The other thing that it shows up is details and um, even though as I was saying with the Haydn where I was talking about moving on to the um, more general feeling of the piece I think specifically at the beginning of a performance it's very good to focus on small aims and small targets um, for example just feeling comfortable in a particular shift or um, listening out for the ends of phrases things like that instead of trying to think of giving a beautiful, fantastic performance in general, because I think that can be quite daunting. Um, so that kind of links back to then also being really proud of small achievements. At the moment, um, I try to walk away from every performance thinking I was really proud of that phrase or I was really proud of that note and actually leaving it at that and being happy with that, because if you try to achieve everything in one go then most of the time you walk away disappointed or at least I do. And in terms of specifics right before a concert I think it's quite helpful to have some kind of ritual. Um, bear in mind it's good to have a ritual that's flexible because if your ritual is too rigid then if one thing that's out of place that can really throw you in a performance. Um, so my ritual tends to be something like trying to shut my eyes for 10 minutes and making sure I have plenty of time at the cello beforehand um, so I get changed and do all my makeup and things pretty much an hour to half or half an hour before the performance so that I can just focus on warming up and feeling comfortable at the instrument. Um, another thing that I started to do recently is um, singing really loudly because there is a lot of nervous and excited energy which you need to get rid of. Um, it's a very bodily thing, nerves I find, and it really um, all goes into your chest and into your head instead of being grounded in your stomach area. So getting rid of some of that energy by either moving about a lot or, um, as I said, singing really loudly, which can be really disturbing for all the other people in the green room area, but that has helped me a lot to just calm myself down and centre my breath as well. Um, and in the very first moment of the performance, for me, the most helpful advice came from Alison Rind, and that was to focus on your body and nothing else. Um, to really focus on feeling grounded and feeling comfortable. Um, and in a way, shifting the focus away from, for me, memorising, um, but also just from what you're playing in the first few minutes can make, sh make you start the performance in a more grounded and more centred way. And focusing on those small aims and another thing that I find is really helpful is focusing on the musicians around you if you're not playing solo um, because that shifts again the focus and the pressure on you to a more communal way of music making um, and that's something that I found really helpful. 
I hope some of that was interesting and um, wishing you all good luck in the next few weeks. I know it's really tough, um, but I think everyone is struggling in their own way and it connects us all in some bizarre special way. Thank you for listening and lots of love.